like this one, guys. Crotch piece of cypress pine. It is still quite wet. Don't even bells. Mm. Week. A little over a month ago. So yeah, let's turn this wet.
Sanded it to 240 and it's smooth and so pretty. Just yeah, there you go. Now you're all a bit more clean. These beautiful little eyes. <laughs> oh, look. So, yeah, this is the first time I've turned wet in quite a long time. Not me being wet, the wood being wet. So, on another note, I was thinking in a few videos time I'd like to do a Q&A. So, at the bottom of this video, stick in your questions and I will answer them. However silly they may be, I will try to answer them in the best way that I can. <laughs> so stick your comments in. Stick your questions in the comments, not your comments in the questions or or um anyway stick your questions in the comments i'll do a q a in let's say two videos time or three videos because i have a few projects on the go and yeah we'll have some fun with that questions in comments go also if you've liked this video so far give me a like give me a thumbs up Anyway, helps me, I guess. <laughs> helps me, helps YouTube, helps me make more, more fun videos. Anyway, I'm probably going to get this turned around. And we'll decide what we're going to do. Whether we're going to make it into a bowl. Or, possibly a hollow form. I don't know. Let's get it turned around and see what it wants to be. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna take for a fly. Always fly. So as it has dried over the last couple of days between me working, not, not working, just doing other things around the house. Oh, here's another thing. Who else during this isolation period has been doing DIY renovations, etc, etc? I know I have. <laughs> so the same as... I'll show you my projects that's been going around the house. Probably in a later video. Eh, still gonna hollow that out, out more. I want it to get a bit thinner so when I put it in the microwave, it should give me a little bit of warping, cracking, 
So yes, it has cracked over the cask day or so. But hey, that's wood. It's part of what wood does. It's what makes it pretty. Anyway, I'm going to keep hollowing this baby out. Put that in the sunlight. Anyway, that's had a coat of linseed oil just to keep it oiled and natural and nice and beautiful because there's still water in there and moisture. Uh, I thought a yeah an oil-based finish would be best so that every so as it dries and ages, I can keep adding oil to it. Yeah. Getting nice. I'm gonna let it dry. <laughs> oh, and there's the camphor laurel ring. And this hole. There's the center. Ooh. Really pretty wood. Really happy. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna let this dry. And I'll probably put a couple more coats of uh, pale. What is it? I think it's pale. Um, Linseed oil. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, the upper layers. If we can force it, I'm going to get one more coat of, ah, uh, I'm not used to Polish paste. Throw a wax and that on. See if we can get a nice shine.
So everyone, at the end of this video, I have myself a Cypress Hollow form. The ring I didn't say before is a piece of camphor laurel. A very figured, nicely figured piece of camphor laurel. I thought it was a nice touch and complimentary to the cypress, which I might add is extremely bird's eyed. I really, really love the bird's eye in this. So I cannot wait to process and turn some more of this cypress. Um, yeah, I might do a, a quick little video soon about how I'm processing um, the cypress for drying. Um, because I'm probably not going to turn it. Um, yeah, we've got way too many other projects on the way. <laughs> to turn it all, rough turn it all at once. Um, yeah, this is a, a nice beautiful piece. It's still wet, so it's probably going to... Probably... Oh, it, it pro I will say it probably will crack a bit more. Um, but what I will do is I'll keep the oil up to it every month or so give it another oil and you know what a piece like this I don't care about the checks and then the cracking I think it'll add to the character of it yeah so that's me done for another project thank you all for watching if you liked what you've seen please give me a like if you haven't subscribed yet go and subscribe and subscribe, subscribe, go and subscribe, and I will see you very, very soon for another project, stay safe, stay home if you need to, wash your hands, and guess what, you all need to stay awesome, because you are all awesome, I will see you all very soon, bye for now.